So there will be two videos today. The second one will be a ranked seasons game. I'm just trying to play some more BR because over the past couple of weeks I haven't played that much. And since I was able to get the flashback Schwarber again, I'm looking to play a lot of BR games because this may be the best BR card I have used so far in this game. But yeah, the second video is going to be a ranked seasons game. And it was... It was another good one, man. It seems like every single day I am just playing these crazy, ridiculous games where just madness ensues and definitely be on the lookout for that video. So I was 2-0 coming into this game because I think I mentioned in the in the video yesterday that the first, uh, the first guy I played left right before the game even started, so we probably wanted to redraft or something. So I am 2-0 coming into this game, and hopefully... Hopefully this can be the squad, man, because all my BR runs so far, I think I only had one, uh, I think I only had one BR run when I went past seven games, and that was around the time when all the crazy shit was going on in the game, like, uh, your game would be freezing and stuff, and then you'd be sitting there in a standoff with people and stuff half the time, and then I think that's how that, that BR run ended, was because I was in a standoff with a couple people, and I just ended up leaving the game because I'm not sitting there waiting for hours on end for people to leave games. So as I was saying too, Schwarber, I'm not even joking man, Schwarber, this flashback Schwarber does not hit anything but missiles. Anything but laser beams off the bat, this Kyle Schwarber, it, he hits every single time. He's like Freddie Freeman in this game. Every single thing he puts in play is a laser beam. So he gets the, he gets the single. If he had that good speed, that would have been a double, but I am able to cash in two runs on that two-run shot from Rugnit Odor. So look at this. Check swing again. Gets called a strike, man. It seems like every single video this is occurring too. But I am able to get two guys on. Molina came up with the single. And then me making a stupid mistake. He's able to block that. And I'm getting thrown out trying to make it into third base. So I could have had two guys in scoring position for Kenny Lofton. But now there's only one guy in scoring position. But I wasn't even able to cash him in either. So I'm not even joking, man. <laughs> Everybody might have to start calling me Mr. Can't Get It Done. Mr. Non-Clutch is what I should be called. I am just leaving people stranded every single game too. So that's just something that's that's been one of the main storylines so far. Is I used to think that it was two out rallies was the storyline. But leaving, leaving people stranded in scoring positions seems to be the case over the past couple of weeks 100%. I have... This game too, and just this the next game I played too, I, would, I was just off today. Because there was, there was at least three or four times when I thought there was only one down in innings. And I was sitting there throwing the second base, trying to turn two. And there was two down, and I almost, you know, barely got the guy going to second base. But either way, uh, I think Hunter Pence got that solo shot too. So the squad is getting off to a really good start in this one. So Schwarber is back up after Tony Gwynn got that single too. I'm looking to go deep with Schwarber again. I should I should have swung at that. Even though that was called a ball, that probably would have been hit to the moon, but it doesn't matter because the next pitch, Schwarber, that's, that was a curveball on the outside part of the plate. I think that was an early swing, and Schwarber is hitting one deep. This just goes to show you how much of a beast this flashback Schwarber is. He is a monster, man. You cannot stop him in BR. It's crazy what I've been seeing so far. And then Rugnin Odor again is getting another home run in this game. So I guess this guy had enough of this. I mean, I was up 6 nothing in the second inning. Had 7 hits. I mean, I'm not really sure why he drafted a silver starting pitcher. I guess he wanted to leave him in, see if he can just run the table with silver pitchers and stuff. So now I am 3-0 and going into this game. So looking to get another win on the board going against the Detroit Lions. And I didn't use Billy Wagner in the in that previous game, I don't think, because I think he had a bunch of righties. I'm not even really sure, to be honest, but I was going to use Billy Wagner in this game. Didn't even matter if uh, he did have a bunch of righties in his lineup. But I was able to get the first three guys fairly quickly, very quick. Uh, top of the first inning right here, so Billy Wagner comes in, does his job. So, I mean, there wasn't much going on early in this game other than uh, he just... Just hard hit balls right at people and stuff seems to be the storyline in this game as well. So Morales just lines out to center field. So Molina is in. I think Molina's inside edge is down. Uh, not that much, but it is down at the moment. But I just wanted to use Molina since he does have that hose. And it seems like every single time I've been using Molina, I've done, I've done all right with him. I don't think I used the diamond Molina in 16 that much. 
And when I did, I did, I did, I did all right. I didn't do amazing with him, but every single time I've been using Molina in BR, I find I've been doing very well with him. So not that much was going on early in this game. Not that many hits, and like I was saying, just hard hit balls right at people. Just there was some, you know, fly ball to the warning track and stuff that probably could have left the yard. But I guess this was just one of those games where it was going to have to come down to who hit the first home run, and they would probably walk away with the W. So. I did have to put another lefty in because Billy Wagner did get gassed. So I did only have one other lefty in the pen, I'm pretty sure. So now we are in, what is this? Like the, I think this is the third inning right here. So Jose Reyes is leading things off. Not able to find the gap right here. So it's down to Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn needs to do something in the bottom of the third inning. Not able to. That's just a weak fly ball right above home plate pretty much. So now we are going into extras. This is... I hate this. I hate going into extras in BR. I can't stand it because usually just, you know, insanity occurs and it usually doesn't happen until the 8th or ninth inning. I have not played a BR game in recent memory where it's ended in the 4th or 5th inning. They've always gone to run the 8th or ninth inning, so I knew this was probably going to be a marathon. What a surprise. Schwarber steps up to the plate again and gets another missile up the gut. So yet another hit for Schwarber in this BR run, but then two batters later, Brooks Robinson is up and he is grounding into the inning ending double play. So this is going to be, this is looking like it's going to be a marathon. We're now in the top of the fifth inning. The shift is on for, I think that was Carlos Santana, squeezes by the shortstop. So this guy's able to get his first hit of this game, I'm pretty sure. Not that many hits. Uh, up until around the 4th or 5th inning. Yeah, that was his first hit of the game. I only have one hit too with Schwarber being the first hit for my squad. So this guy's able to get somebody on base. And then what do you know? Fucking double play ball right there too. So this is just... This is going to be exactly one of those games where just, you know, every time you get somebody on base, no clutch hitting will take place. So the next guy coming to the plate is going down swinging. So now Molina is in. Molina doesn't have the best power, but you know I was trying to swing for those fences, man. I was trying to swing for the fences with everybody coming to the play. I'm not even going to lie. I was trying to end this game. I didn't even care. I was. I think I even power swing with Kenny Lofton. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I think right there I power swing with Kenny Lofton because I was just trying to end this game. Didn't want this game to last any longer. We're now in the bottom of the fifth inning, so I guess it's not, it's not too lengthy at this moment, but still, I didn't want this game to go to around the 8th or ninth inning like I was saying because that seems to be the case. I have no idea how the hell that was a hit. That was the worst swing I've ever seen. Shoots it down the left field line. That's a triple. So Kenny Lofton is on third base with Hunter Pence up next. Able to get a hold of that one, I guess, but it's just right to the second baseman. So Hunter Pence was able to square that one up, but unfortunately it was right at somebody. So still, this game is going on. So I didn't want to run out of relievers in this game, which seems to be the case in BR especially. Whenever you get these long games going on, people just run out of uh, relievers, and then it literally comes down to who hits the, the first home run and then possibly walk it off. So I think I had Vizcaino in, or no, I, this is Cody Allen in right now, but then Viz, Vizcaino was warming up in the pen. And then if I had to go to Vizcaino, I would have just left him in until he got gassed obviously I wasn't going to go to the matchups where lefty on lefty I don't, actually I didn't even have any lefties in the pen anymore at this point in time so I would have had to have had righties in so I think Vizcaino was going to be the last reliever I wanted to use because nobody else I think in the pen was even was very good and then what a surprise man Jose Reyes gets the lead off single and then again I'm bringing somebody off the bench don't even remember who that was but he is grounded into a double play as well so this is where this needs to end. Schwarber. Schwarber is up. Come on, buddy. Let's do something. Lefty on lefty, but doesn't matter. That's a single up the gut. I don't even know how. Actually, that was actually a pretty solid swing. That wasn't even a bad swing or anything, but it did go right up the gut. So Schwarber is getting another base hit in this game, but Rugdid Odor wasn't able to do anything right there. So we are continuing this game, and it definitely is going to come down to whoever hits the first home run. And obviously, if I hit the home run, it's going to be a walk-off. But if this guy gets uh, the first home run of this game, he's probably going to walk away with the W, man. Because this is just this is just one of those games where nothing is going good for any team, which I kind of like, man. It's good that there's not uh, something going on in this game where just one side is just getting every getting an advantage where everything they put in play is a base hit and all that stuff. So Matt Holliday was able to come up with a base hit for this guy. 
So that was his first base hit in a couple innings, I'm pretty sure. So he is able to get somebody on base, but there is two down. So I wasn't really attacking anybody, man. This guy was chasing some stuff down low, so I was giving this guy a lot of stuff uh, low in the strike zone. But he was being patient sometimes, too, kind of being patient in this at-bat. But with a 2-0 count, he's swinging at something, and he is grounding to second base. That's ending that inning. So now we're going to the top of the seventh. Brooks Robinson is in, and that's a hanger, man. That's a, You can't be doing that to anybody. Hanging curveball right down Broadway pretty much single up the gut. So he's going to the pen. Morales is in. This needs to end, and it needs to end right this moment. Somebody was finally clutch. Morales gets the walk off to end this game. I'm not even joking. If this went any longer, I probably would have just fed this guy fastballs right down the middle to try and end this shit. So I do get the W, and I'm 4-0 going into the next couple games, so it's probably going to be more BR posted tomorrow. But like I said, there is going to be a ranked seasons game posted after this video, so definitely be on the lookout for that.